Good evening, everyone, and we are live with Saturday present farming. Let's beat the Santa. Let's get those Santa Trons going. That's the plan for today as well. We have uh, as well we have uh, mutated events, so some extra rewards in order. We'll grab them too. So welcome, who I see in the chat: James, Warlock, Fifteen, Michael, Chris, Da Vinci, Jim Ray. Pots Thousand, Daniel, RHPS, Snake, Suica, Andrew, Mr. Anderson, Office Dallard, Bomov, Robert, uh, Soulcatcher, and Catalyst Glass. Welcome, everyone, and without further ado, we are heading to Fallout, so hopefully I will be able to catch the first mutated event, as they always, on the hour, at the hour, so that's now. That's now, it's 6 p.m. exactly. Hello there, everyone else joining us right now. I'm very happy to see you. All my followed friends. The followed universe is for us all. And whoever keeps posting on X, aka Twitter, that Fallout 76 is not real Fallout? You are not real. It's absolutely the best Fallout. The Fallout that we can play all together. It's the best of them all. I started at Fallout 2, and it was awesome. But... You were not able to play with friends at all. It was all about talking with friends about Fallout. But it was still a solo experience. I prefer when I can have a bunch of people running around me. So we all share the experience in Fallout. I prefer multiplayer games. I know some people do not. I do. I want multiplayer games first. Over and cambered? No, cannot be. How? A oh, am I wearing power armor? Maybe. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I'm not in my power armor. That's the reason. Got it. I found the culprit of me being so over encumbered. As my power armor, it's a full set of weapon weight reduction. Oh, I know what I need next. Regular armor with weapon weight reduction. I was thinking what I need. Now I know. Uh, the question is which armor, but we'll figure that out. Oh, Red John, thank you a lot for 10 bucks. Appreciate that. And the message from Red John is, I love your videos. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm really happy to hear that. Thank you. A lot of people started from Fallout 3 that I know about. I don't regret starting at Fallout 2. Did you ever go back to play the old Fallouts? It's a, it's a nice experience if you focus on the story. Of course, graphics will not be there. <laughs> it's, it's very old. It's almost 30 years old, I think. Almost. Not quite yet. So, yeah. It is very old. Yeah, and Starfield, even though Starfield is a good game, Starfield is not as good as Fallout. Mainly because of the feel of it, the story, the world. That's the difference. I'm a big fan of Fallout. If I would be judging it on technical aspects only, then how I was saying, close to Fallout 4. Oh, Red John followed first was your first followed. That's the that's the correct one. I started from followed too, uh, because that's when someone told me about followed. I think it was one of my school friends borrowed me a game, so that's what I started from. I did play followed one, but after followed two.
Okay, what should I do now? Probably first script some legendaries that I have probably a bunch on me that weight me down. Start from that and then I can start grabbing some workshops that are still available. What, on console there was no 2 or 1 at all? Oh, that's... that's bad. I didn't know that. I was thinking that Bethesda adapted the previous follow to consoles too. But maybe they did not. I would love some uh, Fallout 1 and 2 remastered with Fallout 76 engine, but... Probably cost is too high for anything like that to ever happen. Oh, that's instigating with weapon speed. Anyone need Ultra Side Gatling laser? That's that's actually a good roll. I don't want to scrap it. I don't want to scrap a good stuff. That's a really good stuff. I will put it here. If someone... Oh, someone already did the same with some stuff. If anyone need it, this is instigating. But if you mod it with charging barrels, like first several shots should apply instigating bonus uh, for everyday runs. It's quite cool. Yeah, on Steam you can have all Fallout games. Although I'm personally not a big fan of Fallout Brotherhood of Steel and Tactics and so on. I enjoy Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 way more than those. So for my personal ranking, those different Fallout games, isometric ones that are not Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, are low on my personal ranking. Yes, anti-armor is still very good. And best on Gauss shotgun, yes. And original Fallout is very different than modern games. It's isometric. Way more dark. And even more goofy humor. <laughs> so yeah, the goofy humor was actually always in... Dark and goofy humor was always in Fallout. That's not new. That's not something that Bethesda or TV show added recently. That was always there. Assault Rifle, unfortunately, is not very good if you want to use it. It is not. I forgot to cra claim the free stuff. Oh, claim a workshop was a challenge. Caps, that's really good. That's for a wrapping paper. So I will take caps. And daily challenges, any of those need to be rerolled? Nah, I'm not going. Why do they always want to send me to the P? Why not the new one? What's going on, Bethesda? Why you forcefully try to push us back to the pit? What's going on? Okay, we'll do those other as we go. Uh, first, let's start placing our Santa drones for all my present needs. And then we can mark some Santas running in Appalachia for extra presents. We'll take the free workshops only. Whoever already has a Santa and claimed workshop, I'm usually not trying to con contest those.
taking free ones. And this workshop is the worst for climbing. It's huge and the enemies are hiding on different levels. My least favorite workshop. Let's do it with red up. There will be a lot of searching for those enemies anyway. And then I can switch for some new canades. First, let's grab those more miners. And I don't like the change that Bethesda did, so we cannot sprint with auto axe. It was so cool. You were just sprinting through the map and enemies you touch have been dying. It is no more, unfortunately. You need to normally run when you want to attack. And I'm not a melee build. I have enough damage with auto axe. Where is this guy? Oh, too low. I went too low. Oh, what's... What's going on here? Ghouls, raiders, what's that party? Go home. What are you doing on my excavator? Okay, where is everyone else? There. Oh, I completed Capes Quarter. Oh yeah, and more of them hiding inside. Let's try to help myself with grenades. Maybe that will be slightly faster. Where are my Nuka grenades? I have 237 left. That should do it. Will that reach them? Dead. Someone up? Where? Oh no. I don't think I will reach this guy from in here, but I will try. Get it! No. It's too far. I need to go outside. Oh, come on. Nuka grenade do not have enough range. Where is this guy? I was there. Did I miss one? Fly, grenade, fly! Okay, one more. Go! Finally, I don't want to climb there again. This is one of the worst workshops to climb. The most effort required. In the past, it was worth it to run the excavator. Now, I don't think so. Amount of ore it's extracting over time is too low. It is cool to switch it on, but the, the effort required and the reward you get from it, it's not there. Bethesda need to buff workshops. Would be so much better if they could buff them to make it worth the effort. But we have two Santa Trons place and someone has this workshop. This workshop taken, but this one is free. Oh, eviction notice is absolutely the best event for loot. Legendary enemies there spawn like crazy. Is it intentional? I don't know. I I hope so. I like to think... Oh, wait. Are you taking it? I'm not sure now if Suika wants this workshop. Do you want this workshop? Are you in the chat? Now I do not know. Is 
they use the hide over there and here in this hangar oh, they there too far to the outside Get them! Oh, this one is too far. Perfect grenade. Here we go. How good is the circuit breaker? I have a review for it. Unfortunately, it is not very good as a pistol, but it is quite good for that hit yourself build. So that's the build I'm running now. Oh, there is one more super mutant, but it doesn't count as workshop protection, which is fine for me. What? Too tall? You cannot place such a tall object here. Maybe too tall. Okay. Uh, and smaller one. Okay. Oh, so you are helping me. Maybe. Radiation Rumble for experience, yes. It's very good. Although, if you know how to run West Tech efficiently, Westec works. Even better. It's already claimed, so I'm just building. Just building. Thank you for your help. Will this be marked? Uh, yeah. That's yours, okay. So I'm building for you or for me? I don't know. I and I'm, Will I be able? No, you cannot fast travel on teammates' workshops. Probably not. Okay, so that's yours, but I build it. As I have blueprints. Okay, this is taken, this is taken, this is taken. This is taken, ta taken. Uh, oh, the power plant is not taken. Okay, power plant. Yeah, unfortunately, there is no mutated radiation rubble, no. But eviction notice is on the list of mutated events, so we can do this one. There is a Santa boss? No, only normal Santa. Not a boss. Santa is very weak. Two swings and every Santa is yours. And you can take the presents. Oh wait, is there are no enemies here? I'm tossing grenades for no reason, there is no enemies! Okay. Oh, wait. It's... It was not marked as someone's workshop. Okay, maybe someone was using it before and now it's abandoned. Is there a Santa drone here? No? What was this workshop for? Someone built it. But there is no Santa Tron or anything like that. We have too much stuff that needs to be scrapped. Claimed. Hopefully there is no rack placed, so I would be able to put mine. I mean, fast travel mat. 
Okay, not placed yet, so I was able to build my stuff in this workshop. Perfect. So, what's not claimed? Another power plant is not claimed. Yeah, to craft large present high quality gift wrap, but it's not worth the caps. The medium present is the best value uh, if you take into consideration how much reward you get from each. The medium one. So I would not recommend crafting a large ones unless you have a lot of caps and you don't want to server hop and you are therefore buying a large wraps. But Otherwise, it's a no. Dead? No, this one is not dead yet. No, it is. I will still have a lot of workshops if no one will take mine. And next one will be... Red Rocket, Dolly Sats, Berkeley, Dabney Homestead, and Abandoned Bog Town. Oh, and Federal Disposal site is free too. So there is quite a lot of workshops for me. I will be good with workshops. So, oh, that's not a tall one, so we. With a smaller structure and more into the forest. I build it in the trees so I cannot see what I'm doing there, but that's fine. Oh, Red Racket is other one I don't like. A lot of robots hiding everywhere. Beautiful day today in Appalachia. I like it. Especially that it's not so nice in UK. It's winter, the day is short and rainy for most part. Oh, look at that. That's a Santa. No. No Santa, only regular. For a moment I was thinking there is Santa too. Only regular scorched. No Santa? Ah, that's disappointing. So many scorched and no Santa. Okay, I guess. Have a grenade. Okay, there is way more. Need to toss more grenades. I will take this quantity. Do I have it? Okay, I got it. Oh, Benjamin! Thank you a lot for 20 bucks, Benjamin. Appreciate that. And the message is just started playing the other day. And I'm level 62 now. I'm doing a blooded commando build as I like the playstyle. But I notice most players on Xbox are running around in power armor. Are the power armor builds better? Uh, no, but they are tankier. So the reason that so many people do run in power armor, it's way less likely that you will die. Are those better? No, there is no. Like commando and heavy gunner, those are two meta builds both extremely powerful and all you need for your commando if you want to put a crazy amount of damage quad railway rifle although it is not not a silent weapon but puts out crazy dps and on top of that because most heavy gunners is running with taking one for the team legendary perk 
if you take a follow through, that's a perfect synergy on boss fights, as both of those can work together. They amplify each other. So actually, having a team that consists of heavy gunners and commando is the best option. That's the most powerful option. Having both. Heavy gunner and commando on the team. Okay, this one is taken, but this power plant is free. I don't know what kind of spare plants I have, but I will be giving them away. I'm giving away all my spare plants that I'm getting. No enemies? Oh wait, there are enemies, but tanky ones, so I will go out to Axirut. Grenades, that will be too many grenades for fog crawlers, they have so much hit points. Is that one fog crawler? Where, where, where is everyone else? I bet there is more. No way, it's protected by one fog crawler. Is it? It was protected by one fog crawler, okay. And I'm looking for more. There is no more. It's one fog crawler. One fog crawler to rule them all. <laughs> A Gauss sniper is not better than a railway rifle. Uh, unless you want to be a sniper, then obviously the Gauss weapon is a perfect sniper when a railway rifle is insane DPS boss slayer type weapon. Place that in here. And you probably notice I have two different blueprints now. If Workshop allows me to build higher, I do build higher. As higher the Santatron is, the safest the Santatron is. So those structures are like that now. They look a little bit ridiculous. I could build it to work more like actual thing, but I'm only about farming. So I don't particularly care about the immersion from those from those structures. They performance based. And thank you a lot to everyone who pressed a like button and everyone who's watching. We have over 200 people. Do you have the holiday already? It's your holiday started. Free from work. Do you have a long holiday or is it more like just a couple days? In my case, since I started YouTube full time almost a year ago, that's almost like a year long holiday. Even though I can call it job now. But it feels almost like a holiday. Wait, there is one enemy now. There is more. There is Scorch. But no Santa Scorch. How did I miss some still? How did I miss... Oh, I know how. Wrong weapon. That's why my grenades were not doing correct damage. Anti-armor and... Special explosion effect to carry over from the circuit breaker to grenade. So my grenades are doing more damage if I use it with circuit breaker equipped. Yep, now it works. We have it. Oh wow, Chessus for you! 100 bucks! Thank you a lot, Chessus. Your support is insane. I appreciate that. And the messages. 
Merry Christmas to the amazing Kangaroo Turtle. Thank you very much, Chessis, for you. I hope you have amazing holidays so far. Appreciate that. That's very generous. Thank you very much. I'm still doing YouTube full time, so for me it is amazing. Okay, where are we placing this one now? Here? Here will be good. Done. Another workshop secured. This one's still available. Yeah, Chessus is amazing supporter of this channel. Continuous, continuous support from Chessus for you. So, yeah, I think currently, yeah, for sure, currently number one. Currently number one financial supporter. Almost like my employer, if I would add up the money. <laughs> so it's probably, it would probably add up to like, uh, monthly payment for normal job all the money that chess has contributed so far no one oh wait there is one enemy we'll use different grenade let's see if freezer can do something to this floater to freezer grenade oh, how did i did i miss the freezer grenade Flamer grenade. Where are those going? I cannot. Cannot keep. Okay, that's not enough radius. What about frag mines? What? It's healing more than I can damage it with that? Molotovs? Out of too weak for the blood bug. Plasma grenade. That will that will do it. Before it will fully heal again. Yeah, plasma grenade did it. Uh, for nuka grenade damage, the best option at this moment. I mean, instigating is definitely really good, but I prefer bloodied just in case there will be some enemy that took a little bit of damage that will basically make instigating worthless. And the best option will be Tommy gun because you can put armor piercing magazine. So you will get 60% armor penetration combined with bloodied effect. So that will be the most boost. Unless you are full health, then instigating is your only option to achieve such a boost. Another former raider? What are those former raiders doing here? I know this will fit, and it does. Here we go. Another workshop secured and built. Oh, this one was already taken now. This one taken. Okay, so all the workshops it does look like on this server are taken. How many was I able to secure? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven eight nine okay that's good that's a good number and my camp is that so i have 10 santa drones oh quinzel thank you a lot for 10 quid appreciate that and message from quinzel happy holidays everyone thank you a lot quinzel appreciate that i hope you will have amazing holiday oh i move the camp unit to wrong spot now i'm spawning underground where is my camp? This way. Where's the exit? There. I wanted to put it in more convenient spot for myself, but I put it in wrong spot. 
Grandma, I need to remove you, so you need to get off the chair, please. After I trade with you. Uh, oh, disease resist tea. Sweet roll, I don't need. Okay, Grandma, you don't have a good offer for me. What's going on? Why is Daniel using emojis there? Oh, encrypted. Okay, Grandma, I will check on you in a moment. Going for encrypted. Yeah, bloodied Elder Smark will work great with grenades. Just make sure you have armor piercing receiver. That's not a magazine in Elder Smark, uh, it's a receiver. So we need armor piercing receiver. Here we are. Oh, need to change grenades. And one interesting observation I have. In third person view, the grenade will be always tossed when your character is facing, even if you rotate the camera. So you need a first perspective, first person perspective, to toss when you want it to, to go. Hello there, imposter. I don't think you'll be able to do anything to me. You are weak now. Bethesda nerfed you. Oh, I can open lunchboxes. I have a bunch. Let's go for the lunch boxes. Lunch box for everyone. Here we go. All the lunch boxes up and running. Full experience boost. But I'm super tanky, so I don't die easily. I have 547 health max. Oh, the imposter is getting angry. Have a grenade. Is that it? We finished? Where is this imposter? Got it. All the loot secured. Thank you for the event. This event is awesome because it the most important part for me in this event, a legendary course for legendary crafting. The best event for farming legendary course. And welcome everyone who's joining us right now. There's almost 300 people. Wait, welcome, welcome. And yeah, I need to move the camp units. This cannot be like that. So I was thinking that I will help myself with this camp unit in here, but it's not helping me at all. Let's move it back. I think it was working better when the camp unit was somewhere here. Uh, close to outside border of the camp. Let's see, I hope I will get it right. And Grandma, could you just step up of the chair, please? Could you? Or is it too much to ask? Just stretch your old bones a little bit. Just a little bit. Please? Can you stretch your old bones? They need it sometimes. Yeah, like that, like that. Very good, thank you. Okay. Jeff. Uh, I see you, you are spawning correctly. I like it. I like it. Show me what you have for sale today. Oh, cranberry meatball grinder. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. Ground Morat. I will take those two. I don't know. Swamp tofu. Why not swamp tofu? 
We'll take those food items. Thank you very much. And now let's remove this kitchen from in here. That's my ally platform. Thanks to that, they are not able to reach the destination too fast. And I can trade with them and I have enough time to scrap it after. Now let's collect all the stuff from my collectors. This collectron is mainly bringing Yuka Colas, even though I set it for presents. So it doesn't work very well with this collectron. Mostly Yuka Colas. <laughs> You're very happy celebrating. Store all this ammo. Okay, that's a lot of free weight. All of that scrap. Oh, someone broke some stuff in my camp again. What's the damage? Only the wall. Okay, that's fine. This wall is almost broken too. But until it's fully broken, you cannot fix. I don't like this. I would prefer to be able to fix all damage components as an option. That would be helpful. But sometimes you have like... One tiny hit point on the wall, and you cannot fix it until it breaks completely. Yeah, we don't have companions that can travel with you in Fallout, unfortunately. It's not an option in here. Let's see if I can find some Santa. The best Santa place, Helvetia. They usually have the most luck in Helvetia, so we see if Santa will spawn there for me. Okay. Oh, can you hear that? It's the Santa. Hello there, Santa Scorch. Small holiday gift. You are not very generous, Santa, today. I was hoping for a large holiday gift. I think Santa wants to give me a lump of coal for my bad behavior. Where is more Santa? And because Santa wants to only give me a lump of coal, I'm taking presents myself! Give me presents, Santa! Large one! Awesome! I don't care who this present is supposed to be delivered to, I'm taking it. What's that? Like a random settler? <laughs> more Santa! Where is that jingle jingle? No jingle jingle? Wait. There is... There is jingle jingle somewhere. Uh, jingle jingle to you too. <laughs> Another large one. Awesome. Those are legendary, so everyone in area should be able to loot them, even if they don't tag. That's why I'm just killing them. Without waiting. Legendary uh, loot share area is like 50 meters. So it should be fine for everyone. That's it, there's no more here. 
and go there. On foot. Or more Santa scorched. Why I don't play with mods? I want to have the same experience as everyone. Including consoles. I only want my game to run smoother. And on the PC... I mean, at this moment on consoles, it like runs smooth too. But earlier on, it was only 30 FPS on consoles. Which was visibly worse. I know, now it's no longer the case. Now you have 60 FPS on consoles, which is good. I have more like around 100 FPS on PC. But 60 is already good experience. I absolutely can play games with 60 FPS. Oh. Santa, I hear jingle jingle. Where is it? Where's the jingle jingle coming from? Jingle jingle. There is a blue Santa today. Blue Santa. Holiday gift. I know there is a lot of good mods. And Bethesda even promised official support, but that never happened. Oh, I need to cancel all those... ...event... ...quests. Okay. Power up? How do I cancel power up? Where are those power up events? Oh, here. Okay. This is cancelled. Sweet water. I sometimes talk with the sweet water. I need some rewards occasionally. Do I go to Bolton Greens? I go to Bolton Greens. Wait, which direction is Bolton Greens? To the right. There is Bolton Greens. Can I run there faster than I would fast travel? Probably not. It's up the hill. Bolton Greens is up the hill. Is that Bolton Greens? That's the Bolton Greens icon here. The golf club Bolton Greens. A little bit up a hill. Yes, Nuka Collector collects gifts and cola at the same time if you set it for presents. I actually wanted only presents, but my Yuka Collection continuously collect Yuka Colas no matter how I set it up. Uh, the DPS displays and stuff like that are nice, but they not accurate. Unfortunately, in case of Fallout, uh, the server response, server code, and server lag take a big part in actual DPS possible with weapons. Oh, there is a blue Santa. I... I can still hear jingles. So there is more than one Santa. There is a red Santa. A blue and red Santa. A regular skirt. That's it. No more Santa. But from in here, I can run. No, not run. Better fast travel to Morgantown train yard and Morgantown airport.
and the damage numbers above the head are not accurate either. So the damage numbers that pop up are not accurate and uh, mods that displaying DPS are not accurate. There is only one accurate method of judging it and that's based on the health bar of enemies after you shoot them. That's the only actual damage. There is no number that will be correct. They are just more or less of Some numbers are really close to truth, but yeah, still never exactly what it's supposed to be. Oh, there was a Santa, but that's a dead Santa. Okay, I do not hear any jingle jingle. So let's proceed to airport. I'm pretty sure Fallout 5 is supposed to be single player, but I would like it if they would let us do co-op. Like, they have a system for that, although in modern times, supporting multiplayer usually involves servers that I doubt Bethesda would like to pay. But could they implement peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer? That's player-to-player -player connection. It's higher lag. But for a single player game, I think I could deal with 100 ping on my gameplay. Even though it's not optimal. I would be fine with that. Yeah, the damage, unfortunately, the damage numbers displayed are never accurate. They give you some kind of an estimate, but yeah, not accurate, depend on the weapon, more or less off. I don't have Messiah to get the Scorch Beast down. Probably sit over there. Most of the Santas are spawning if they are spawning then on the mountains or here on the left or right, depending which way you are looking. Very rarely they spawn over there. Uh, the the example of the weapon that is more the the most off with damage numbers is a Saltron head, especially quad one. If you stack it up a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If you do the 20 charges, the damage displayed will be absolutely insane. The actual damage is really low compared to what you see on the display. The actual damage will be like 20 times lower. That was a Santa there. Got it with a grenade. We'll loot it after the event. Yeah, always open the gift slow. And to have gifts on top, sort by weight. So gifts go on top. 25 script. Ten script. Five. And another five. And low quality presents open. I'm pretty sure that I did learn all the plans. I'm just opening them now for, to give away those all those plans to people that may possibly need it. I do have a bunch now. Oh, look who's hiding behind the fences. 
Here for ya. Santa was hiding behind the fences. Oh, but Tesla could definitely make a Fallout 5 multiplayer. The question all only is, do they want to invest into multiplayer functionality? So that's the additional cost. For example, Starfield is new and they decided not to. There is no multiplayer in Starfield. And they absolutely could do it. They choose not to. And why? Probably cost. It's cheaper to do only one option. Oh, Master Obi-Wan, thank you a lot for 50 bucks. Appreciate that. May the shell be with you, Master Obi-Wan. Thank you a lot. There is no message for me to read. If you wanted to type a message and you forgot, feel free to type in the chat. But if not, then thank you a lot. Happy holidays to you. Whatever holiday jet I have. More canned coffee. I need to give away some canned coffee. <laughs> thank you. Uh, now, my current coffee... Coffee count is... Coffee... 1200. 1200 coffee. And Master Obi-Wan is saying... Merry Christmas, Angry Turtle. Thank you, Master Obi-Wan. There was a Santa somewhere. I need to find a body, so... Okay, I, we use this body. Area loot should give me Santa. Or not? There was a Santa, but no. It gifts disappear somehow. I don't have gifts. Area looting should be giving me gifts. Only one Santa? I'm sure there was more than one. How do I have only one Santa gift? Oh wow, that was that was a rip off. Hey, there is no more. There was more Santa. How do I have one gift? Ah, this event supposed to be the best for Santa farming. Pretty sure there was a blue one somewhere here in the forest. A despawn or something. And that's terrible. Terrible. Oh, we have a special message from our member Greg Hall is saying Merry Christmas Turtle. Good to see the YouTube dream going strong. Can't believe almost one year and can't believe how close 100 K is. Yeah, it is. It is true. Thank you a lot, Greg Hall. We are closing on 100 K. If everything will go, if everything will go well, Next year, I will indeed hit 100k subscribers and hopefully YouTube will send me a silver button. I hope so, because it always says that 100k subscribers is one of the requirements and then they need to manually approve that you are worthy of the button. So we'll see if I'm worthy of the silver button. Hopefully I will get it. I really want it. Like, that will be something physical to show for my effort. But we'll see. YouTube need to give me the stamp of approval after I hit 100k to get the silver button. In the past, I was thinking that it's enough to just get 100k, but it is not. You need to be manually approved, but whoever is reviewing your worthiness on YouTube. Oh, we have another donation of someone that I don't even remember the name. Are you hiding in the chat usually? Blimak. Blimak with 50 bucks. Thank you a lot, Blimak. Whoever you are, because I don't remember seeing you in the chat before. I truly appreciate that. Thank you. There is no message, so it's a mysterious Blimak. I don't even know if that is Mr. Mrs. Or a turtle. We don't know. But thank you very much. I appreciate the 50 bucks. 
Uh, Master Obi Wan has a special member message saying, "Love you, Angry Turtle. May 2024 be the year you hit 100k subscribers and Bethesda fix your broken friend list, so I can join you in game." Yeah, I would hope for that too. Can Bethesda fix my broken friend list, or they cannot? I still hope that maybe they can. Maybe one day they will do it. Who stripped this corpse? Okay. Mm. I need to take a look on the challenges. Those are doubled. So when there is double, I do that. Oh, use a photo mode. I can do it right now. Here's me looking at Morgantown Airport. And next, cooking. Kill a Yaogwai and Deathclaw. I can do both uh, and then cook the meat from them. So that sounds like a plan. So Yaogwai usually lives here. Noob Gamer is saying you never know if Mr. Beast is watching. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Mr. Beast is not watching my channel. Like, he's huge. He most likely does not have even time to watch any gaming channels. That would be my bet. When you are so huge and traveling across the world to make videos, I doubt you have time to just sit and watch a gaming live stream. Okay. Young guys are officially extinct. Oh, that's no one's workshop now? Someone abandoned the workshop, so I'm taking it then. Is there even a Santa Tron build? Did someone put together a workshop with just turrets? Not even a Santa Tron? No Santa Tron? Hmm. Interesting. Unless Santa Tron is hidden somewhere. We'll figure out. If I can place it, then it's not hidden. If I cannot place it, then Santa Tron is hidden somewhere. Let's see if I can place that. Will it place? I can, so... Someone had this workshop without a Santa Tron. What could be possibly the reason to own a workshop without a Santa Tron? I do not know, but now I do have 10 workshops. Oh, I'm I'm. Thank you a lot for five quid and... Uh... What is that? What is that emoji? Oh, the mic drop emoji. <laughs> it's a mic drop emoji. I was looking what this peer is doing. Thank you a lot. I, I appreciate that. Oh, and Captain Floppy Sack. Thank you a lot for 10 bucks, Captain. And the message is Turtle Power. Keep it up. Uh, keep it up, man. Merry Christmas from Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. That's really the place that is Indiana, Indianapolis City in Indiana. Oh, that's cool. And don't tell me Indiana Jones lives there. Okay, I know it's a fictional character. <laughs> Joking. Thank you a lot for 10 bucks. I appreciate that. Thank you, Captain Flappy Sack. There is Yukon Queen. Oh, yeah, there is Yukon Queen. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm attending. And the line in the sand. What am I attending? Line the sand a little bit first to see how it's going. Maybe we can do line in the sand and then rotate for the queen. And line in the sand, I'm not waiting now. I'm looting Scourge as the event goes. <laughs> they will despawn on me again and I will lose all those rewards. I don't want that to happen. Who's under attack? I'm under attack? What? I'm not under attack, I joined the event just right now. A little bit late to get this Santa. 
But maybe I get some other Santa. Let someone shoot Johnny as he's pretending to be a Santa. He really wants to get shot. Oh, there are Santas here. Let's get them down. Put the Santa down. And loot it. There is a bunch, so... Loot it before they despawn. I didn't know they can despawn so fast. Like they tricked me on this last event by just disappearing. Now I'm getting some presents. So I just need to keep running back and forth. And loot them before they all disappear. But people are shooting my grenades, of course. Oh, you see? Okay, so that's the new strategy. Don't wait on events. Run back and forth and loot. <laughs> Look at this Santa graveyard. <laughs> Look at this Santa graveyard. All of them have been wrapped. They've been mugged. It was more like arm rubber, and I didn't survive. Usually, if you mark someone, I think they they go away alive. Those Santas didn't survive. Oh, I see the Santa. Bunch of legendaries from all those Santas. No reward here. I'm running back and forth to hopefully get a loot from both sides. I don't know if I can. I probably cannot run back and forth. If I... I see most of the dead bodies in this area, the Santa bodies, so I will be roaming around here. As that sounds like the best spot with the best chances for me to get the loot. Did I watch Ninja Turtles? I did! I even play in Ninja Turtles video games on the console. I think it was Pegasus. Ninja Turtles have been on Pegasus? The console? Or it was a different one? It was some of the consoles back in the days that had Ninja Turtles. I was mainly playing as Donatello, but I was playing other ones too. The best item for present that depend what you need. Those are mainly cosmetics for your camp. Only non-cosmetic item is a vintage water cooler that's a resource producer for purified water. So that will be the best if you are not into cosmetics. So that will be the only one that's not a cosmetic item. And in regards to cosmetic items, I don't know if there is any kind of classification that you could use to tell if it's the best or not. Like, it's in eye of the beholder when it comes to decorations. I may have my opinions about them, but... Yeah, I'm not fascinated too much about any of the camp items from Holiday Scourge. I don't feel like I need any of those. But I like to collect. I like to know that I have them all. Done. Done. I need to put this tent somewhere. Or I cannot fast travel otherwise. Over encumbered. Come on. There. 
Tent placement. Now fast. Scrap. Put my weight down to the level I can move with. Okay. Uh, down. Pastry. Join. Oh, you have you have a tattoo of Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, I don't have a tattoo, but I generally don't have any tattoos. I'm not into tattoos. I don't have any, and I don't plan on any. Which is a huge contrast with the friend I'm exercising with. That has plenty of tattoos. So it depends on the person. Some people really like them and have a lot. And I have nothing against tattoos. If you want to ask, I just don't want them myself. And, oh, if you want, uh, like, other rewards from presents that are not cosmetic, those are only available from presents that you get from Santa Trons or from Scourge. It's Scrip and Caps. You get currencies in them. So that will be a non-cosmetic reward that you can use. This other stuff is mainly like a filler. Like, there is some scrap, aid, so on, but I would not consider it important. But script is indeed useful. Should have a bunch of presents to open now. So you see when I open them. Now five script in this box. But always open slow. I will keep repeating that. So no one wastes the rewards. Unless you disagree with me. Then open fast. 50 script. So that was a lot. So you can see sometimes can be a significant amount of script. In small holiday gifts, there is no currencies, but I noticed that this year they added a small chance that the plan will be in small holiday gifts. But it's a small chance. How can I manage? Oh, I have probably a lot of legendaries from those. That's what weights me down. Uh, let me move in here. I know. Move in here. Free fast travel to Nuka World on tour. Oh yeah, I, I'm waiting for Turtle Power Armor skin all the time. I want to start in Fallout Universe, the Brotherhood of Shell. But I need a Turtle Power Armor for that. I need the Brotherhood of Shell. So currently there is no Power Armor. We could do Brotherhood of Shell without Power Armor, but that's not the same. I need a turtle power armor. Absolutely. And they even teased me because they added a turtle boss, Ogwa, and no power armor in spite. But, like, how is it even possible? Like, that would be clear choice for me to make a power armor based on Ogwa. I don't know how is it not obvious for Bethesda. Oh, well, that's cryo resistance and yielding. But the last star is not good. Oh. The script is done for. I can script that. And that. And one more one star later. Hmm. I reduced the weight a little bit, just not enough yet. I failed to find a yoke way. Maybe I can at least find a death glow. I'm supposed to kill Yaogwai and a death glow. I check spots that I know with Yaogwai, and now what do I do? I don't know where else the Yaogwais live.
Anyone remember where Yagwai can spawn? Yeah, we do have a shell backpack. I'm obviously using it. But still, no shell power armor, and that's what's needed. There is a death cloak, and uh, someone donated amazing grenades. Mervs are perfect grenades for circuit breaker. As every shrapnel, or how do you call it? Every little piece of this grenade triggers the circuit breaker effect. Please don't move, because unfortunately this grenade do not penetrate through structures. So stand with this grenade, please. You see the damage? That's the damage from the circuit breaker effect combined with this grenade. As normally, that's the circuit breaker single effect. But with this grenade, it triggers it, I think, 8 or 16 times. I don't know, a lot. So Deathclaw is killed. Where is Yao Guai? Oh, Alpha Silo. That's true, I forgot about this one. Alpha Silo has a Yao Guai guarding it. Is there a nuke on White Spring? Is someone farming good old school glowing guns? Oh, Dolly Sots don't have any. That's why I couldn't find it. Oh no, it's missing too. So Dolly Sots Yagwai missing. Sight Alpha. Oh wait, it's there. Why are you wondering? Mr. Yaogwai. Probably two grenades. Oh, that was a miss mostly. What? The grenade underwater do not work. I did not know that. Okay, get out of the water, Yaogwai, as my grenades do not work underwater. But stay close to it. Okay, good. Sparky Yaogwai. Very good. What? Oh, wait. What's going on with my grenades? Okay, keep it in your mouth. Keep it in your mouth. Why are you running? No. Come on. Stop moving. Very hard to get this Yao Guai down with a grenade. <laughs> the water is causing problems. Oh. What's going on with those grenades? Is this luck or something? I don't know what's going on with those grenades. Not how it's supposed to work. I did it. Cooking, building stuff in a shelter, modding piece of armor left for weeklies, scrap to produce circuitry, scrap to produce cork, build a generator in a shelter. So I need to go to my camp. There is a bunch of stuff that need to be built in a shelter. Yeah, simple bear. It's not so simple. Okay, we need to do some cooking and so on. Do I need some veggies for cooking? Yeah, we could do L if you want. Don't know if I need some veggies. Supposed to be cooking meat dishes, so probably no, no veggies, but some meat dishes require veggies. Like surprisingly being a carnivore in Fallout 76 doesn't mean that it's only meat. It meat-based meals, but they can pretty much contain uh, veggies. A okay, blood bag steak, scorched beast liver, soft shell. Oh, Death Crow Wellington, I will do that. Wellington and Death Crow Steak. Oh, they have three pieces of meat. Death Crow Steaks. So 
got to be stacked. No, my look bit no. What's the rat stacks to for? I don't need it. Rat resist no. Light no. I have finished the chocolate mousse. Though I had to substitute the mousse for rat So that's stack. cooked. Should I put something to the freezer? Oh, the rat scorpion kebab is low health, so we'll take it. And the Aguai roast, I will eat it soon. And I will try to squeeze in Death Claw Wellington for later. Death Claw Wellington for later. Okay. Oh, right there are spoiled vegetables. I don't even know what's spoiled. Oh, Captain Flappy Sack, thank you a lot for another five bucks. And the message is Indianapolis is capital of state of Indiana, USA. Look up Indy 500. Thank you a lot for five bucks. So I'm not as familiar with uh, geography of USA, but now I know. Thank you. Now I know. Yeah, I have, what, 1200 coffee now. A lot of coffee. Okay, what was next? Mod a piece of armor. There is a piece of armor. So two pieces of armor that I currently cannot scrap. So what I could do, make them lighter, but I need armor for that. I will make them lighter. Keeping them for scrap, I will make them lighter. Crafting. So some use case for this challenge. What, armor not equipped on crafting build? How is that possible? Oh, because there is not enough percards under intelligence that can be equipped. So what we take out, contractor is not needed. And maybe scrapper not necessary, put armorer on. So many times swapping packs to actually mod the armor. Finally, ultralight. So this one is 0.25 now. And this one from 5 will go down to... 2.75 and to get this done we just paint back and forth yeah challenge completed next we need to venture into the shelter How do you get your hands on that cryo freezer? A Mortimerate crater is selling the plan with gold bullion. Just need to pay it a visit and buy yourself a cryo freezer. What I supposed to build here? Anything in a shelter? Generator. So three generators and then anything. Generators. Three generators. One, two, three. And seven of anything else. The, the easiest is usually floor decor, the little tracks. And then remove tracks. Perfect. My ranks are going up. Challenges, dailies done. Weeklies, I just need to scrap some stuff. Maybe I will naturally find it. 
who knows, in the present or something. I could go buy some more paper. Let's buy and craft more. Oh, uh, I will not be able to move. I'm a crafting loadout. You can nuke either one. It can be Titan, can be Earl. I will join whichever you nuke. Oh, Val, thank you a lot for joining Tertus Army. Thank you a lot for your support. Welcome and may the shell be with you. Thank you a lot. Okay. Uh, let's. I need to refresh my buffs too. And I want them boosted. Do I have any more backwoodsmen? No, not this backwoodsman. Is there any vendor that sells backwoodsman magazines? Like any ally? Or I don't think so. Okay, I, I, I have some, so that's not too bad. I have 44 backwoodsman magazines left. Pop that, and now the food buffs. Let's get. Yeah, let's put the liver up. The tea. Cooked soft shell. Crumbly meatball grinder for extra 150 HP. The close steak for strength. Dog meat steak for endurance. What else do I want? Nope, not the new Coca Cola. Let's wipe out the rats. Red scorpion kebab before it spoils. It's good to be steak. Oh, smoke my look filet. That's 100 carry weight and lang 11 agility. Swamp tofu soup for the region. Melee damage. Yeah, let's put that up. Bonus experience. I should maybe add that. Can I store some mutant hunts too? I have too much on me. Where is it? Meat? No, where is this? Oh, tasty mutant hounds too. Let's store some. Okay, no room. One, I managed to store one. Oh, we have some don membership donations from Chessus for you. Thank you a lot for five. No, not Chessus for you. Mishka! <laughs> I'm too used to chesses for you donating I see things. Mishka, thank you a lot for five donated memberships. And I welcome 15 Ratty Star, Mike Gonzalez, Kyle Toucher, and Josie Dead Guy. Welcome to Turtles Army and may the shell be with you. Thank you very much, Mishka. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. 
the new coming? No. No nuke yet, okay. What I was doing, did I use... Finish with the buffs or not yet? Oh, I... I want even more health now. I can quickly apply more health. I will put... Leo for a second. So Leo will give me health bonus. Ally. We'll grab health bonus from Leo. We'll give him quantum. Okay. Leo. Wait. I placed a wrong ally. That's not Leo. Catherine. Why did I place you? Okay. Give me your buff. I placed Katrin by accident. Uh oh. No, did you? Oh. Wow, she's freaking teleported to her station. I want that Leo. And she teleported when I was talking with her. That's some sneaky Katrin. I want Leo. Oh, another teleporting Leo. Okay, I will remove you later. Oh, Leo, Leo. I have cola for you. And that's a quantum to give me health. Are good for trade, Leo? You sell nuka grenades? Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, grab some some of the presents from my workshops. Oh, my collection did collect some. Good collection. Let's grab some presents. Uh, Hellfire plants? No, not... Not from Holiday Scourge. I don't think too many people is using... Okay, someone took the eggs. And gifts. So someone was at this workshop. Let's see if other workshops have been visited or not. It's popular, like a lot of workshops have visitors. That's definitely easier method of farming holiday gifts than claiming workshops yo yourself. Just visiting other people's workshops and camps and taking gifts from the collection. And take it into consideration, it is a wasteland, so I would say that's a valid strategy. <laughs> visiting a build up already workshops and taking the gifts. Let's see if I can find some gifts in any of my workshop, or all of them have been visited already. Yeah, definitely someone was here. I'm curious why eggs are popular. Eggs and gifts seems to be missing. But not acid? Not adhesive? I'm curious why. Why X and gifts? Someone is taking X and gifts, but not other stuff. See, no X, no gifts, no coffee, adhesive, wood, everything else is there. That's interesting pattern that I see on my workshops. Eggs missing, coffee missing, and gifts are missing. Why those? Do you know why this stuff? It's something I don't know about. Okay, here. 
Eggs are not missing, but the gifts are missing. A coffee is not missing. Okay, so here someone grabbed the gifts. But nothing else. Do I have any of my workshops with gifts? Or <laughs> all of them have been visited? Oh, only one egg, so someone was here recently, but that two gifts. So this Santatron was good, bringing the gifts on time. I should probably be visiting it more often, when there are still gifts. Oh wait, there is a new coming. Where is the new coming? Oh, error. Okay, so I have time. Let me check my other workshops before... All the gifts will be missing. Oh, someone took a workshop, but it's an own? How is, how is that possible? How could someone take my workshop that it's still an own? Shouldn't it belong to the person that took it? It's very interesting things are happening on this server. <laughs> Okay, gifts are missing on this one too. This one has been taken, but it's no one there. What's going on? Oh, Val, thank you a lot for gifting a membership. And member membership goes to Captain Flappy Sack. So welcome to Tertus Army, Captain Flappy Sack. And may the shell be with you. Thank you a lot, Val. Why I don't lock the Santa Trust? Because that will only result that one person on the server will be wanted. They will still take the gifts. So lock doesn't really help with anything. Whoever wants the gift, they will still take it. I could do that. I could visit all player camps and take their gifts. The lock will not stop anyone. Oh, it's someone killed the Santa Tron. Are you for real? Why kill the Santa? I understand taking the gifts, but killing the Santa Tron? That I do not understand. Why would you kill the Santa Tron? No, not scrap, fix. Luckily I'm fixing for free. That one killed my Santa Tron, but it's back. I fixed it. Yeah, you are all now Turtle's army. The Brotherhood of Shell. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I'm just trying to grab some of the holiday gifts that are still yet available before they all will be gone. Who's this egg thief that walk around and steals eggs? <laughs> so it's like all hail the shell. <laughs> Am I on the event? Oh, it's still. Those events messing up everything. Mm. 
Why is it white name? It should be yellow. Okay, I'm on time. Are the lunch boxes still in effect? Oh, they they running out. Lunch box refresh. Where are the lunch boxes? Sorted by weight. I don't see them. Here we go. Lunchbox refresh. Okay, we have all the lunchboxes up and running. Liquid courage. Psycho buff. Pistol equip. Grenades. Which one do I want to use? I will open with high damage murphs, then I switch. Uh, to new canades for tagging. Leave this one. I only want colossal problem here. Oh, Wendigo is joining us. No time for a Wendigo. Let's go. What? Did, did he run the last laugh pack with Yuka grenade dropping and finishing Kimo? Must have been that. I don't know what else could that be. Here you go, Air. You can actually toss grenades quite fast if you practice it a little bit. I don't know how much damage I'm doing to, uh, with those grenades. Uh, switch to tagger grenades. New grenades for all the Wendigos in the area. Where are Wendigos? There's no Wendigos. There's only this one. What? One Wendigo? No more Wendigo? I wanted to tag them, but I can't see any Wendigo. They coming now? Oh, now I hit some Wendigos. Okay, I will focus on this guy. I will waste all the all the rarely used grenades on him. Or the cryo. This grenade. Gnasher grenade. Frag grenade is too weak. Frag mine. Molotovs. Okay, plasma. Plasma are not bad. This is a decent damage. I'm tanky enough, so I'm basically not taking damage from anything. How fast can I toss those grenades? Cannot see a thing. Is the air is still there? How are we doing with those grenades? So many grenades. Look at air. Air taking hit from plasma grenades. Grenade after grenade. I'm practicing how fast can I toss them. It's looked like the fastest is whenever my pistol goes up, I'm usually able to toss another one. Oh, very sparky, so someone is using frag murphs. 
Frag miss cause air to be very sparky. Are we all using grenades on the keep today? I think so. <laughs> First air Williams grenade kill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a little bit under a second for me to toss a grenade. And when I toss one, I, I'm starting winding a second one already. So I'm tossing them as fast as it is humanly possible. How much difference it will be if I toss Mervs as fast as possible. We run those down, so I will switch to Mervs now. Those are high damage grenades. Let's see. Fast tossing Mervs on air. Yeah, the Mervs clearly take a chunk of his health compared to regular grenades that do not really do so well. That's most likely thanks to Circuit Breaker uh, Dot. That, that's what taking so much health. Is air, is air running away from my Merv grenades? Air? Are you scared? Are those, are those grenades hurt more? Mr. Air Williams? We are killing you with Mervs. Who said that you cannot kill Mr. Air Williams with Mervs? Oh my. My drink stopped working. Keep going, air. I have a bunch of mirrors left. Am I hitting air? I think I am. I'm lobbing a lot of grenades in this uh, direction. <laughs> Look how sparky air is. Sparks everywhere. And he is getting stunned from time to time. Fortunately, stun can trigger only once per 10 seconds, but it is triggering. It does, are those grenades skipping some of the animations? Uh, scream. Oh, Illyria! Thank you a lot for 20 bucks, Illyria! Appreciate that! Thank you! And the message is... Happy Holidays, Turtle! Happy Holidays to you too, Illyria! Thank you very much! And we are attempting to kill Air Williams here with grenades for absolutely no good reason other than having holiday fun. So that's a festive Air Williams uh, getting light up like a holiday tree. It's very sparky with those grenades. Air Williams is very sparky. Look how sparky is this Air Williams. <laughs> Every explosion of frag merv grenades. I'm ready to lower frag merv grenades. Soon I will need to switch to something else. Okay. Out of those grenades. But I still have the new Kakwantum grenades. Which are not bad at all. Nuka Quantums are unlike, like, the difference between Nuka Quantum and Nuka Grenades. Nuka Grenades do a little bit less damage, but much higher radius. Nuka Quantum a little bit more damage, but significantly lower radius. Starfield is followed in space, not Skyrim. It's more in common with Follow than with Skyrim. That's why I was playing Starfield, even though I do not enjoy I mean, Skyrim and Elder Scrolls. It is a good game. I was playing it. I, I will say it is a good game, but not my style. I prefer sci-fi and post-apocalyptic themes. And Starfield combined both. It's post-apocalyptic sci-fi, but a little bit farther after the apocalypse on Earth. And here we go. Okay, uh, let's clear those remaining Wendigos that are still roaming this area. Oh, get up. 
Hopefully you didn't drop another grenade that will finish you off. <laughs> With last love. Okay, let's pick up all the loot now. Uh, level 20 and yielding arrow will not sell very well. Especially now that legendary weapons and armor pieces are very common. Unless it's a perfect troll, it will not sell very well. Oh, read Bartos! Thank you a lot for 10 bucks, appreciate that, and the messages, love the content, keep it up. I will! Thank you very much, appreciate that. Thank you. Twenty seconds, and it will be out of the mine. If someone is looking to gear up the mule, they will be looking for even lower level. Oh, although now since you can start mule at level twenty, yeah, that that can work. But if I would be looking to gear up a mule, I would be looking for an yielding weapon weight reduction. As otherwise every mule will be over encumbered quickly. Yeah, mule really requires a weight reduction on on the third star, not just an yielding. An yielding will not help much for the mule. I would go so far as say that an yielding is less important than weapon reduction on the third star for the mule. Or any other reduction, depends what mule is supposed to be for. But for people who followed first, it's usually mule is usually for weapons and armor. Oh what tent can be so close? I think I will not be keeping the sack, I still have some liquid courage left. Okay, let's fast travel out of in here. Oh, Will Blake with 10 bucks, thank you a lot Will Blake. And the message is, happy holidays AT and everyone. I can't believe we are still playing 76 and looking forward to more good things to come. Cheers. Thank you a lot, Will Blake. And we are absolutely looking forward. Like next year, if everything that Bethesda promises in latest letter is true, the 2024 will be the best year for Fallout yet. And I hope it's all true. And they are working on it. So it will be the best one yet. Okay, I will be waiting for Leo to get off his chair so I can scrap it. Uh, in the meantime, I have some gifts to open. Slowly. That's important. I have some gifts to open slowly. Oh, the Leo is up. Leo, don't move. Give me a second. Perfect. What's my total weight? I was... Uh, wait, total health. Yeah, I'm close to 700 health now. That's why I was so tanky at this Air Williams fight. Close to 700 health. That is insane. I'm curious what's the tankiest you can currently get now. Most likely even more than that. It should be possible to push it at close to 800 maybe? Not sure. You can definitely push it further than 681. And that's already super tanky. With this amount of health, 
if I would be bloodied, my bloodied would ha would be able to stay just under 140 health. So my bloodied, with this amount of health, would be about as much health as some full health builds have. Eviction notice? No. There is no eviction notice. I see eviction notice in the chat, I'm always checking on the map, but there is no eviction notice. Come on, open. I would definitely should log into Fallout 76. There are new expeditions to Atlantic City, you can grab some holiday gifts. If you didn't yet, oh, we can do an Atlantic City expedition to be honest today. Let's push one quick sensational game. Oh wow, Ryan Henry, 100 bucks from Ryan. Thank you very much. And that's your first donation. You are going with huge donation for the first one. Thank you very much. And the message is, love your work. Happy holidays to you and everyone watching. Happy holidays to you too. Thank you very much for this generous donation and support for the channel, for the Tertus Army and the Brotherhood of Shell. Thank you a lot, Ryan. Wow. We have huge donations today. That will be the biggest live stream donation wise. Probably. Or one of the biggest. I think at this moment we are around what was the most I ever get. What's the quest? Update. Moonflowers. Killing moonflowers is the quest. Let's get it. We'll get you moonflower. Have a grenade, Moonflower. Okay, Moonflower down. Moonflowers are squishy, that's probably why they call it flowers. Very squishy flowers. Where is another flower? I see you. Can I toss from in here or is it too far? Can I? Get the flower. Oh, I did kill it. Okay, that's nice wrench of a toss. And one last flower somewhere in there. Where is this flower? Got it. Awesome. Carry on. Here we go. I uh, will grab the teddy bear. Someone killed Yuchi. I will clear people around and grab the teddy bear. As I did it, took ammo to kill Yuchi. So someone kill this kill it. I can do emoji. Defeat Yuchi. Is there anyone with a weapon? I did it to Gamma. Oh, I could use Auto Axe. Get Yuchi. Okay, here we go. I could switch to Auto Axe. We need to do it quick, as next mutated event is soon. Siren Theater, perfect. The Tato Toss. The Tato Toss, we can do it real fast if that's a Tato Toss now. Tato Toss. Maybe let's toss some new canades to clear those invaders first. So they will not interrupt. Unfortunately, after I grab Tato, automatically. My Nuka grenades will unequip and Tatos will be equipped. 
so... Let it do it, and when it will be almost done... I will be running. Okay. Almost done. I'm running. You guys carry on. With right main stage, I'm running. Psycho buff. Nuke the cola dark. Run. Open. Change the perspective. Start roaming the axe. With one foot item, the axe is really deadly and... Not the fastest, but close. That was 3 minutes, 45 seconds. Yeah, 3 minutes, 45 seconds. That was amazing time. Amazing time. I think the fastest ever was 340 that we did. But that's still amazing time for expedition. 3.45. Adding all the load screens and so on, that's around 5 minutes. Around 5 minutes for a full run, including load screens. So there is no other activity currently in follow that gives you such amount of rewards for 5 minutes of effort. That's the 5 minutes of efforts for all the rewards. <laughs> so you was sick now do one faster with me AFK. <laughs> That's a challenge. Two legendary modules. 20 stamps and random legendary that are unfortunately not useful. Noob gamer, you need to dress up as Santa tomorrow. Good luck. Tomorrow I'm going to pick up my little one, so she's spending holidays with me. She cannot she cannot wait. She was already asking me on the phone if I'm coming today. I said no tomorrow, one more day. <laughs> So she's waiting. I can still move. That's a good sign. So I have 600 carry weight currently. So that will support most of my needs. Are those full or empty? Oh, there is some room. Right arm. Only one star, but it will fit. Other pieces are regular armor. Did I finish all the challenges? I'm still missing some. One circuitry and some cork. But I'm making some progress, so I'm getting something. Don't know if from those presents or something else. I'm making progress with a scrap. As someone is visiting my workshops, I should probably be visiting them more often, so I'm going for another circle uh, that's afk event yeah that's load bearing that's afk mutated event so i probably have enough time to jump my workshops and come back for their event reward dress up like a turtle <laughs> should dress up like a turtle <laughs> Oh yeah, my daughter is very adorable. Even too much sometimes. It's a very dangerous skill to be so adorable. Then you get everything you want. She cannot know that. She cannot know that she has this power. And thanks a lot for all the likes. And I know we never can reach the same amount of likes as people watching. That's never happening because... 
not everyone cares about pressing any buttons, and that's okay with me. I don't always remember myself when I'm watching something to press this like button. So I don't blame anyone for that. But for me, the fact you are here watching and chatting, I know you like it. <laughs> Otherwise, you will not be in here. Alpha has the bear outside, the middle silo. I need to donate some stuff soon. It's getting over a cupboard quickly. Oh, if you press the like, thank you. I appreciate that. This time I managed to grab some gifts. So I'm faster this time around than, than my private thief that is taking my gifts. This <laughs> he hits me if I don't like it. Oh, well. <laughs> no, I don't hit anyone. Don't listen to that. But that reminds me about the one, uh, how to call it, like the funny video that I watched. There was, there was a guy giving uh, a newsletters of some kind of some advertisement to people on the street, and he was working with other guy. I don't know if you watched that. He was working with other guy that was with him, but no one else knew that, and. This other guy was always saying, no, 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 I don't want, I don't want uh, any stuff. And then he was kicking him <laughs> in the ass. And everyone seeing that, whoever was following was taking all those, all those brochures without asking questions. <laughs> they didn't want it to get kicked. <laughs> that was hilarious. Good <laughs> Christmas special. I don't know, it can be. <laughs> I don't have much time. I need to join event in one minute. So far. What do you do with legendaries after you max on the script? Give them away. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. And I have 12 power armor frames stockpile with legendaries too. Just in case I cannot play and I need to get my script. What? Is there like a half of my Santa drone missing somehow? Okay, n never mind. I don't have time. I need to carry on. Can I... Oh, the counter. Okay, that will be not enough time. Load bearing. Some grenades flying? What is going on here? Why right, there is multiple missions to defeat the blood bugs? How do I spawn same place every workshop? I have fast travel mat uh, place there on the blueprint. I was showcasing this blueprint on my guide how to farm uh, presents. So yeah, that, that fast travel mat is the secret to quickly collect. I have guides on my channel about almost anything and I keep updating them and publishing new ones. We'll keep coming. Why do I have a bunch of other events? Retake? No. 
retake no no i'm not interested in retaking or fighting about my workshops i'm just there to get the free gifts and after this event I can go and purchase some wrapping paper. Oh, and one thing I noticed recently, as I'm running now the magazine, a Backwoodsman 6, effects of cooked food. What it works on, what it works on is the birthday cake. It's boosted, AP is boosted from 300 to 450. So every slice of cake is like one and a half of slice of cake. So even less is needed to spam when you want to use AP heavy weapon in vats. So those birthday cake slices are even better this way. When you try to lodge in, the game just crashes. Uh, are you able to get to the main menu with settings or not? Tabs 2442. Are you able to get to the main menu? Let me know. Uh, that depends what you can do. Okay, so this workshop I were not able to finish yet, so I can go there now. Oh, someone opened the banner. A bunch of gifts. And now we can purchase some wrapping paper from the mall. It's major stream delay though, it shouldn't be. Oh, so we're not able to get to main menu. Okay, that's not good then. There is not much you can do outside of Trying to install the game all over again. Or what else you can do? It's try to delete any files if you are on PC. Are you on PC? Did you say what the platform is? You just downloaded the game, made account. Okay, what platform? Is that depends. Like on consoles, I don't think there is much you could do. If that's on PC, you can try to uh, delete any files. That's one thing you can do, and if that will not work, you can try to run in compatibil compatibility mode with previous Windows. That can possibly sometimes change it from crashing. I don't know how to manually change the game. Like, through the any setting, it should be possible to change between full screen and run as borderless window. If you cannot access settings, you should be able to do it through any files, but you will need to Google it yourself, which exactly line you would need to edit. Uh, that's what I can think about. I don't know what else uh, can be done about it, if that will not work. That's what I can propose as a solutions for now. I should have a lot of... Uh, Muffman eggs for sale as well. That's why I'm collecting them. Yeah, Muffman egg, 107. They were free. It's perfect. Perfect. Now I can purchase this medium quality wraps. Oh, I forgot to change. Uh, change public team goal temporary for roleplay. So I get more charisma. So I get more charisma for shopping. That should give me a Better prices. Still not perfect, but better prices. 
I'm missing a lot of the charisma department, but that's that's fine. I don't want to edit too much of my setup. I just want free stuff. Give me free stuff. I mean free stuff. Give me stuff for caps. That's almost like free for me. As caps, late game caps are so easy to to come by. So I will have all those caps back when event will end. Easily. All those caps will come back. Do you have a grape mantas for me? Or you do not? That's fine. Now to the... Oh. Cannot fast travel. There is someone dropped a nuke. And there are... A White Spring train station has two wrapping paper pieces. Oh, you are on a Steam, so you should be able to edit any files. Yeah, try to switch this setting. Oh, War69 lock already posting the line you need to change. Value from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0, whatever it is to other one. As from my experience, that makes the biggest difference in regards to crashes. For a lot of people, game is crashing in one setting and not crashing in other. If that will not help, unfortunately, I in that case, I don't know what can be causing the crashes. You need to locate when the ini files are on your PC. I think it's in... Oh, I forgot where it was. I was first. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I was first. Look at that. A lot of stuff here. So, I will add mine. Someone need those new plants? I'm adding my plants here. The duplicates. And the new players, if you can wander into the nuke zone, there, there will be stuff in this box. This donation box is being stuffed with Santa plants and so on. Okay, a bunch of plants. Oh, there is one that I need to read. So I, there was something I didn't learn yet. Honeycomb Paper Ribbon Bell I need to learn. Okay, good. I will learn that. And as well, I will donate to people in need some of the coffee as it's getting too heavy. I'm donating some coffee on top of that. Let's get craft some holiday gifts. Not renamed. Travel. Mr. Nimbus, if you have an issue with lack of content, go visit uh, Bethesda developers and say that you want to help them create more content for free. They may consider your petition. Okay, let's grab those gifts. I don't need my crafting loadout as unfortunately nothing affects a gift crafting. You cannot, super duper does nothing, perks do nothing, you cannot reduce the cost, so you just craft. I have 15 wrapping papers.
Yeah, if currently you have full screen zero, borderless one, switch them. Make full screen one, borderless zero, and see if that helps. There we go. Opening handmade gifts. Slowly. Oh, I should learn the plan. Where is it? There's Honey Camp. I'm getting some mounted heads. Some caps. Of course, the cost of the wrapping paper and the caps you are getting in those gifts, it's not even similar. So it's like you are paying almost 700 caps, best case scenario, and you are getting back 50 caps. <laughs> discount. A little bit of a cap discount. If this going slowly, I shouldn't be losing any rewards. And I know it is possible that I could go a little bit faster, but I don't want to risk it. I better, I would rather go too slowly than a little bit too fast and lose some of my rewards. I hate losing my rewards. And I know I already lost some early on as I was opening them fast. What? Rex, you live about 20 minutes from Bethesda Game Studio? Wow, that's close. I probably live about 20 hours from Bethesda Game Studio, assuming there would be a good airplane connection. <laughs> oh, that was 50 script. Five script. Sometimes this script appears quite late, so it's probably the delay for the open. No, I just like farming those scotch and I want to make sure I have all the plans. I like this event. And I can use some script. I will be crafting something. Okay, I think I will be crafting Torn Armor set next and hoping for weapon weight reduction, the best possible stuff that I will be able to get, as my Torn is not really good. I have some Torn pieces, like, not, no, that's Solar. Uh, that's Torn Ammo Weight. Ammo Weight is redundant now, so I don't even need it. As I have ammo box, so I don't need ammo weight. I, uh, it's, I have this one torn mutant slayers with weapon weight. That's solar. I prefer torn over solar. This one is unyielding, breaks slower. I have one piece of unyielding. I would like full set of unyielding with weapon weight if possible, but I will take any weapon weight. So I have that solar. We have other torn here. And this one is with weapon weight. This one is full damage. Printing, cavalier. This one. Deal damage to attackers. This one is Sentinel. I want weapon weight torn. That's what I think I want. So next time I will be doing crafting session, I will be going for it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's that easy to store their legendary script. I just have my full... Wait. What's going on there? What? Is there somewhere in the tunnel underneath my camp? I put the foundation and block the tunnel. I cannot check. <laughs> this foundation is blocking, blocking the path here. The feet of the foundation. All right. I cannot even walk there and check from this side. I would need to be walking. Oh, there it is. That's the culprit. That's why my turrets have been firing at the ground. They unlock a new plan? No. So maybe that was the last plan I was missing, as I unlock a bunch of plans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, another twi another vintage water cooler. Are they are those selling? Do you think I will get a buyer if I would sell this one? I don't see very selling. I usually just give them away for free, but let me check if those sell. Oh, it's full. I would need to take something out first. And it's spoiled. No. Uh, take nuclear key cards, maybe some of those. Is it possible to sell them? Those are new, so let's see if you can overcharge for them. Mounted heads will probably not sell, but the new plans, let's see. I'm doing a test. Selling new plans. And all plans, but more rare ones, so let's see. And vintage water cooler. Let's see if I will be able to sell those. Or not. I have some room for caps. So I can try it. Yeah, the water cooler is from... If you don't know what water cooler is... That's this thing. It produces purified water... Do not need to be plugged into anything, and it's very compact. So it's super easy to place them, and then you just grab all the purified water that you need. What I'm using them for normally, I don't need purified water very often, but I use those so I can complete daily and weekly challenge when there is something like collect purified water. Oh, and one thing, I probably have a flower. There is one use case for my purified water. It's one use case for purified water. Um, oh, someone is buying those plants. That's a surprise. I, that's overpaying for them. I put them as expensive as I could. Oh, wow. <laughs> so maybe I should be selling those plants instead of always tossing them away for free. I'm crafting rat shield with my purified water. I get strangler blooms as side effects of my Santatron farming. I am placing those flower producers. And then I have a lot of rat shield. And the reason for rat shield, when I'm not running a power armor build, I can spam rat shield and go into the nuke zone without hazmat suit. That's the reason of the rat shield. What? Those plants will sell for 10k plus? Are you kidding me? No way. That's interesting. 
Oh, you could use purified water for vegetable starch too. But now I don't need vegetable starch anymore because those trees exist. Sub collectors. Oh, I forgot to collect my collectors. Collect all my collectors. And this thing is from time to time giving me a strangler bloom that's needed for rat shield. Oh, I finally finished producing cork somehow. It worked. Oh, I sold all the plants. Oh, wow. I sold it almost instantly. So people do buy them, if you wonder. <laughs> you can sell those. One more circuitry. One more circuitry somehow I need. And it will be completed. I opened all the gifts. Yes, I have mutated party packs, but I cannot even finish. Oh, mutated party packs, that's other way of storing script. As every party pack contains a freestyle legendary that can be script. So, and one pack is one pound, so on average less than a freestyle legendary. It's not necessarily less, but on average yes. As my other storage method is power armor frames, and one power armor frame is 10 pound. And you only have five legendary items on it, so two pounds per legendary. But in the same time, the power armor frame, uh, power armor pieces have the highest value in script. So those are valuable script pieces. Two pounds each. And here you don't know which one. You can roll regular armor that it's half of the value of power armor piece. So worst case scenario will be the same. Best case scenario, mutated party packs are better for storage purposes. Taking into consideration their weight. All right. Oh, daily op. I wasn't doing daily op yet. And it's uplink today, so that's super easy. And welcome everyone who's joining us right now. I hope your holiday is going good so far. Oh, we need to change the weapon for a handy little pistol. And they, they were waiting because the stagger. This is my don't hit yourself build. So they shoot me, they stagger themselves, and I can claim the uplink or whatever I need in peace. Now I don't need to do anything. I just need to wait. I don't even need to shoot. That's why this build is so good for uplink. Uplink is the best. Only the final phase, you need to do something. You could, if you want, shoot all those enemies, but you don't really need to. How much duration on my buffs? Oh, the, most of them is already expiring, with exception of the long ones. I like how Cranberry Meatball Grinder is one and a half hour. That's a long buff. Oh, Company T is expiring too, but Company T I can refresh. And whatever else. The health, health buff is still running. Uh, what I do need to refresh is the tea. Cooked soft shell. Meatball grinder is running. Death close steak is needed new. Dog meat steak is needed new. Red roach on a stick. Oh, I have ground Morat, so I prefer that for agility. Pop the gum drips. Disease resist, why not? 
Oh wait, they are playing down. We'll finish in a moment. Oh, what that is? Did you saw this queue of queue of more miners on the stairs? Oh, wow. <laughs> so many of them. <sighs> Luckily, they let me pass through. So that's all good. Back to buffing up. Okay, coolness. Okay, grape. Perfect bubble gum. Steak. Venison with berries. Swamp tofu. Tasty mutant hound stew. Oh, I should go for roast. Roast is slower duration left. More spoiled. Okay, that's it. Most of the buffs I had replacements, so those are refreshed now. It'll last for another hour. All good. Yeah, I will help. The grenade is not selected. I wanted to help. Okay, I'm helping. I'm helping. Look at that, I'm helping. All these fusion cells. Okay, I will help a little bit more. And toss one more grenade, that should do it. Oh, now one grenade here. And there is a bunch of them in this direction. Two cells left. One left. This guy left. And done. Now flamer grenade for the boss. <laughs> the weakest one for the boss. Weakest grenade for the boss. Have a flamer grenade boss. It worked. <laughs> Not my grenade, but people on the team worked. It killed the boss. Good job, everyone. We got it. And by the way, the rewards from Daily Ops have been fixed, at least partially. I don't think any plans are guaranteed, but every plan can finally drop, as I did unlock a missing paint, the last piece of missing paint last time. That was impossible to do before the update. <laughs> two one, two one, <laughs> two one star pieces. <laughs> awesome. Generous daily up. But I have legendary course, so I will take that. Okay, should I visit my workshops again? Probably, if those are still my workshops. Looks like still mine.
No, Sansa Collector do not drop Strangler Bloom. I have a flower co collector next to it. Look what I have at my workshop. I have Muffman Egg Producer and Flower Collector. This one can give you a uh, Strangler Blooms. And then there is Santa Coffee Machine. Axi uh, adhe adhesive Producer and Wood Scraps. So those producers are, I have placed on all my workshops. That's how I'm getting so many Strangler Blooms. They produce them slowly, but if I have 10 flower collectors, it adds up. Hey, Mike Gonzalez, you finished the scoreboard awesome. Good job. You still have time, by the way. There's still plenty of time for this scoreboard. I'm buying it day one mainly because I, I like doing the live stream review of all the rewards on day one. That's why I'm buying mine. If I would not be doing a live review, I would not be buying it live uh, day one. It was Atom Shop thing. I don't know if it's still possible to buy it. You could try through the support page. People are saying that most of the stuff that used to be available through Atom Shop, you can purchase with Atoms through the support page. I don't know exactly how they do it, but that's how they do it. How long for scarbles? You mean how, how much time left? It's until March. Most likely early March next season will start and this one will end. So we have two more months easily. Plenty of time to finish the scoreboard. Yeah, free sub collector atom shop too and can be purchased through the support page most likely. Yeah, the exact date for next season was not yet announced, so we don't know it. We only know it's March. And I'm estimating it will be early March. What is going on, Super Mutant? What are you doing in my butterfly garden? How did this Super Mutant end up here? You shouldn't be here, Super Mutant. How did you climb in there? You probably just spawned directly in there. It's surprisingly collecting still, even though the collecting part is missing. The storage part is missing. Ah, Mr. Yibus, you are rank 60 at 100 out of 100. That's good. That's You are well on track to finish before. Rank 60, it's almost halfway there, as higher ranks are taking longer to complete. I think around la rank 70 is halfway, or just under 70 ranks is halfway. Oh, someone was here to take the present. It's surprisingly whoever is taking presents from my collector is not taking other stuff. 
Only the present. So Raider was not here yet. Okay, how many presents? I did manage to get eight regular for large. That's nice. Another opening session. Open frequently and slowly. That's how you get all those new plants. Oh, you managed to fix your problems, tips? Awesome! Awesome to hear that. You see, sometimes the script even appears with a little bit of extra delay. I'm expecting that's probably the moment that it would otherwise, if you open quickly, not give you following rewards at all. Now I have even more plans and a new. No, maybe I finally have all of them. Who knows? Maybe. Let's see if Ender is selling new plans or if there is a Santa Tron that I can I can mug. Oh, look at that, there is Santa Tron. It's not even locked. Free gift. Mine isn't locked either. <laughs> uh. Free gift from a Santa Tron. Why is it flashing like that though? It's that. Oh, Elder's Mark. That's quite expensive, Elder's Mark. 25k. But it's already rerolled for armor piercing. Hit inverts faster. Okay, that's a good roll. That's probably why. Oh, I still forgot to purchase those plants from Gram, but those are Gram plants. <laughs> you can get them cheap, so I'm not paying that. What railway? The last round. No. Oh, one thing I'm curious about. Is this the last round effect the same like on Circuit Breaker? Which means if I would have no ammo, do I have 25% chance to do double the damage with a grenade? Is that how it works? I need to see if I have any weapon with the last shot and if that works oh that's blooded weapon speed fixer two blooded weapon speed someone was rolling for blooded weapon speed less AP cost it's looked like vampire chainsaw but not power attack so all the other plans. Oh, multiple Fastnacht plans for sale. How much the new plans? Are there any new plans being sold? Santa Crash for 2k.
Vintage water cooler 30,000? Are people buying it for so much? At least after I learn the vintage water cooler plan like 10 times already, it's finally showing that I know it. <laughs> Eventually it worked. I don't know if it's worth as much. 30k for vintage water cooler? That's a lot. What do I want to do now? Maybe some extra expedition. I could do expedition. How do we get 2000 handmade presents? Are you referring to my video? The video with content of the present was done on custom servers with crafting set as free. That's how I do testing. You have custom server if you have followed first and you can do testing, which is free. But you cannot keep it. It's not on the actual server. Okay, Daniel, let's land. Daniel is first, Solipsista is in. Yeah, if you run Aristocrats weapons, you cannot buy anything more expensive than 10k. As <laughs> you drop below your threshold, 30k is required to get full damage for Aristocrats. Oh, the grenade. It's not selected. Overgrown Keeper. Should I be waiting next to the boat and see if that will be the place we need to open? No, there is no gate, unless it appears later. You have the keeper. Okay, let's wait for the key. Or maybe this boat is locked. Okay, maybe we... Maybe I'm supposed to go with Solipsista to help out. Yeah, this overgrown keeper can be quite tough. Put the key. Come on, objective update. Rescue civ oh, civilians are far there. Fortunately, civilians not this way. So I c what I can do is wait here. Oh, we have all the emoji done already? Or oh, it didn't start yet. Emoji thing. I'm waiting here for a reason. I'm a team leader. Team leader always... If you want to run as fast as possible, team leader always should wait next to the door. But this will not be the fastest run. We took way too much time. Two minutes outside. Two minutes we should be done with this phase. Grab the Grand Timber. G 
Duty. Yeah, the first phase was too slow for a speedrun. So let's see if we'll get Escort T to pair it with everything. Oh, potato toss. Okay, the potato toss it is. So we could do it as a speed run, but unfortunately our start was too slow. It's hard to run it under four minutes. It's really not easy to get under under four minutes score. No potatoes. Go on, potato. Don't bash. Toss a potato. Why is it bashing? Did I did it grab a potato? Not going very well. Okay, I'm moving out. I left two people to finish the tater tossing. We're almost there. Oh. Fix it. Two more taters need to land. One more tater. Maybe we can do at least under five minutes. One more tater. There. There we go, the Tato landed. Okay, this stagger from Juchi stopping me from dealing damage. But here we go. Under five minutes, so not bad, 450. Come on, Mother Charlotte. And? Mm, excuse me? Oh. No! <laughs> it's happening! It's happening. Stamps? You speedrun this expedition? I have one of my speedruns uploaded when it was still not as fast as then we were able to establish, but four minutes speedrun is uploaded. Uh, you just keep doing that. It's 15 stamps per run, which is fast. Assuming you can do up to 10 runs per hour. So you easily should be getting, even solo, you should be getting around 100 stamps per hour. So you'll farm whatever you need. Anti-armor compound bow. Impressive good. See, 15 stamps. And on top of that, modules probably somewhere. Not showing as I have random ammo I finished with auto axe in my hand, which results in am random ammo being delivered instead of ammo for my weapon. Oh, there, there are like, the overgrown healers, the floating weird thingy, those are healers. So, the overgrown will get healed as long as healers around live. What's that compound bow? Ah, it's not Vats hit chance. For the bow, Vats hit chance is really awesome, so unfortunately this is not a good bow. Did I even get anything good today? That, that what I get this, uh, yesterday. And it's awesome, I will probably keep it. Crit damage, bloodied gauss mini. It breaks slower instead of less AP cost, but hey. It's not bad. Just 
Junky speech for power attack damage weightless. Oh, I will keep it for sheep squatch day. It's weightless, so we are keeping it for sheep squatch day. We remember the good old days when meat hook what was actually the best melee weapon of them all? As damage was multiplicative and it was double dipping with one handed and unarmed weapons, it was the highest damage weapon, even though the starting damage is really low. Wait, why does it show what? What? Something's not right here. Why does it show 281 energy damage? Midhook doesn't have any energy damage. What is that? Did they change Midhook? When? There was nothing in the patch notes. What? That's actually huge damage if that's true. Is that... Is it showing me different weapon? Meat hook with energy damage? Since when? Hacked weapon, but I didn't pick up any weapon from anyone. How enemy can drop a hacked weapon? When did I even get it? Was it a reward from this expedition or is it previously? Is it edge melee meat hook? Yeah, there's no energy damage on meat hook. Hacked enemy? Did did you notice when did I drop it? Was it one of the expedition rewards or somewhere else? As it's definitely today's drop. It's everything I had from yesterday was scraped when I started streaming. So that's from today. Oh wait. It just just lost the energy damage. What's going? What's going on? It just lost the energy damage? Is it because I had auto axe in my... Is it because of power armor? How did it... Have energy damage that lost it? Now have it back, but when I'm in power armor, I cannot, I cannot equip it in power armor. Oh, that's showing. Okay. I know what it's showing. I know what is it. I got it now. That's my bracelet showing on the unarmed weapon. Tesla bracers. With unarmed energy damage. Meat hook is an unarmed weapon. So for whatever reason, it is showing my bracer's damage. On the weapon. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know why it's showing it. Is that every unarmed weapon? Let me craft some unarmed weapon. Or oh, maybe I don't need to craft. Do I have... I should have something. Oh, I do have... No, that's machete, that's melee. Oh, I have gauntlet. Let's see if gauntlet will show that too. Tesla powered mid hook. So bad you cannot equip it in power armor. That would be cool. 
Yeah, the gauntlet shows that too. But you cannot equip them. All unarmed weapons are showing Tesla bracers, damn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> LOL. Okay. Only Bethesda can figure out engine that work like that. <laughs> like, bracers damage are getting attached to any other weapon you are inspecting while in power armor. <laughs> okay. But I crack it. <laughs> I crack the riddle. Well, look, the, the energy damage, it's higher than work life damage. So that, that's why the bracers are so powerful in power armor, just with a melee buff. Okay, I can show you the damage, this energy damage you see without a weapon. So the damage is boosted, of course, by my uh, melee boost, Testy Mutant Hounds 2. We can make it higher as I see my magazine expired. I should have another backwoodsman. Cooked food. Okay, backwoodsman cooked food. Back to 300%. Back to 300%. Now, overgrown gauntlet sewing 390. But to use the bracers, we just unequip the weapon. And even without equipping anything, I will just go to visit super mutants. And you will see my punch. Let's see. Okay, first regular punch. That's regular punch. That's power attack punch. Oh, did they did they fix attack from sprint? No, attack from sprint is still regular. Unfortunately. For whatever reason, you need to press power attack button when you want to power punch in power armor, even from sprint. But that's, that's how powerful those Tesla Bracers are if you have a melee food running. And I do have the build one punch that is better than this, as this is just the food buff. If you would have my full build, this super mutant will die in one punch. But it's fun to run like that. You don't really need a weapon, you just punch them all. Tesla Bracers are powerful, and I do have a build for Tesla Bracers. It's called something like One Punch or Iron Man, something like that. I think it's One Punch. You don't even need to aim for a head. Sponge them. Whatever. Just power attack. Power attack is required. This power attack bonus is multiplicative with all other bonuses, so you need to power attack. That's funny how, how easy with these new food buffs it is to get to get these bracers running. One punch bracers. Oh, Mushan Jamboree. Why not? And thank you everyone for all the holiday wishes. I appreciate that. I wish you the best holiday too. Yeah, you absolutely can save ammo that way. Oh, those are resilient. So perfect for my... For my punching. Those are resilient, so perfect for punching.
Non power attack is not enough. I need power attack to get them down in one. Unless they already glowing red, which means zero health. And just require one final punch. This is a long event. After this event, most likely my Santa Trons will be refilled. And I can go back for them. For presents. Assuming those Santa Trons are still there and no one else is <laughs> taking the gift. Must be an enemy there. Yeah, there is. Why are they not moving? Oh, those are tanky. I need two punches for level 100. Deadly Angler. Deadly Angler is tanky. I could improve my damage if I would put incisor and so on. I don't know if I can. I could swap lock and load. For a moment, just for fun, to incisor. How much will that help? That's the biggest damage boost. That's 75% armor penetration. Stop. I missed. Oh, there is one. You see? It's more than... Oh, that was a headshot. Is this size or even helping? Wait, stop moving. No, it is helping. I'm doing a little bit more, but still two punches. Yeah, I probably cannot boost this damage too much. Just that. It's already probably boosted as much as it can go. With 1k damage per punch, it's most likely penetrating like all the armor anyway. Maybe it doesn't even benefit from incisor, who knows how it currently works. It's electrified, electric damage may bypass already every armor. So maybe I don't need it. Maybe I should just run Iron Fist or Martial Artist. No, martial artist doesn't work. I don't think it works. It's an iron fist, but I don't think that will help a lot. Yeah, it will probably not help too much. Yeah, Iron Fist is too small bonus to see a difference. So I don't need anything. That's a general damage. At least anglers do not instantly kill you with this fire damage anymore. They get slightly nerfed. Okay, I don't need it. I could keep incisor for my auto axe though. Even though it's not much difference with the punch. Outside of that I just have carry weighted blocker. Anything else I need? Probably not. Oh, why do I have crit savvy? Settings, remove salt, check, class free. Mm. What else do I need? Vladimir's? Vladimir's for grenades.
Oh, headshot on the galloper work. Close to one hitting them. If I get a headshot. Why am I over encumbered? Did my carry weight boost expired? Yeah, it does look like it. Where's my carry weight boost? The strength still working? Oh, the strength boost expired and carry weight boost. Where's the carry weight? Uh. Do I have grilled rat stacks maybe? That's that's the carry weight. Grilled rat stacks, okay. Okay, so carry weight is still running. I can move now, so that's a progress. Wave 4 incoming. No, science perks do not work with Tesla bracers. Oh, dual wielding one handed melee weapons would be really cool, but I doubt Bethesda know how to even implement it if they wanted to. After this event, I'm going to collect more presents. Spam some lunch boxes for the event. Am I even on the event? Some people are white now, suddenly. And one banner. Retake, no. Retake, no. The steels are almost untouched. Wow, and that's with resilient enemies. Resilient enemies usually are able to get to the steels. We don't even want those legendaries. Uh, too overloaded as it is. Done. LMG, go, LMG, go. I like the sound of LMG from when someone else is using it. Weapon actually sound differently when you hear someone else using them than when you are using them and you hear them. Done. Oh, the rewards will over encumber me, so I need a carry weight booster if I want to go and collect anything. Oh no, my carry weight come back to normal? Okay, so maybe the food buff just took a while to kick in, must be a server lag. I have my carry weight, so I'm good. Let's go. What dual dual wield was in Skyrim? Like actual dual wield? I did not know that. We had some stuff falling apart, but it seems like 
everything is fine here. I most likely have all the plants unlocked by now, so I'm just collecting more gifts to be sure, as I didn't count. I should have been counting plants that I was learning, but I didn't. And I, I'm not 100% sure now. So I need to keep collecting. Assaultras dual wield? No, Assaultras just use both arms. They don't dual wield anything. They have no weapon. They do not carry a weapon. They use bare arms to destroy you and crush. Oh, I is someone in my workshop. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, carry on. There is a dual wield mode for Fallout 4. Uh oh. I don't like this sound. Looks like this camp have been destroyed by some very angry super mutants. Oh, my grenade is not loaded. Can quantum hit them or quantum is too low radius? Let's see. Okay, Quantum has enough radius for a small group of super mutants. And now, important, repair the Sun Patreon. The other stuff can stay broken, I don't particularly care. Sun Patreon needs to be repaired, even though I will not be collecting it anymore today. That's the last collection uh, circle I'm doing. But someone else can use it, so I like to leave workshops functional with Sun Patreons, even if I don't need them anymore. Assaultras don't even use Assaultral Blades, they, they just attack you with bare hands. Yeah, power plant is good to place to farm holiday scotch. That's true. There's a lot that can spawn there. There's a lot of good places when you can farm holiday scotch. Santa Tros are still better if you if you plan for a longer session and you set up your Santa Tros, The gift yield over hours is way higher than if you would just go and farm holiday scotch. What the? Stop it now. How did you survive? One more. Don't know why this one super mutant is consistently spawning here. His friends are always down there safely, but this guy is. One guy is spawning up here. be doing the last present opening for today after I empty all those Santa Trons. For this farming method a fast drive is really helpful so the game loads faster.
So we don't need to spend all the time on fast traveling. Countdown. Someone emptied that all it's looked like recently. What's that? My magic moonshine. And lastly, my camp. Oh, that's a float. The turtle float. From fifth. Fallout Anniversary, the turtle float. You got 1.5k script today from presents? That's nice. Yeah, if you have private server and you secure all the workshops, you absolutely can get a ridiculous amount of presents. There's so many collectors now for your cub. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of what is and where. Okay, presents. We have 11 regular, 6 large, 10 small. That's not bad. And the script is going up quickly. Oh, that's where I'm getting those plasma grenades from. I notice they do accumulate quite a lot when I'm farming presents. Looks like I have a bad elf here. Someone was picking up some of the presents, but that's okay. That's the wasteland, how that, that's how stuff works here. Everyone, in any moment, can take stuff from your workshop, can destroy your workshop, or can take over your workshop. That's life in the wasteland. Survival of the fittest. We have two strangler blooms as well collected. All open. A bunch of new plants. That I already learned. And another vintage water cooler. They are quite common when you open plants slowly. Okay, no new plants, so I bet I already learned them all. Bet I already learned them all. I have room for caps, so I can place this again in in the vendor. Surprisingly, those plants sell. I was surprised. I was expecting it will not sell. But it does. Those plants do sell really fast. All of them. If, even if I'm selling them for 2k, which is not cheap. Uh, that's, no, that's daily up. No one will want that. Uh, mounted heads, I doubt anyone will purchase. Sleeping bag. Water cooler. Let's see if it will sell for a 6k. Okay, we're going crazy on water cooler pri pricing. Water cooler 6k. Uh, if you stay in VATS, it always drains your AP slowly. That's normal. 
You cannot stay in VATS for free. It was always using AP. Entering VATS uses AP too. So it's not free. Uh, let me move. Oh, I, I finished all the dailies. Secretary. Still need one more secretary. I will use ally. Oh, look at that. So those plants do sell. Regardless how many I put and how overpriced I put them. Interesting. Who will sell me a circuitry? What do you think? The ghoul? Will the ghoul sell me a circuitry? Hello there. Can you sell me some circuitry, please? Alex stuff, not the secretary. He does sell gift wraps. That's rare because most the allies do not do that, but this one does. No, you don't have any. Who can sell me secretary? Sam? Will Sam have some secretary? He's, his, he's a workshop guy. Where are you, Sam? Where is Sam? Stuck underground? No, I don't see him. The black hole ate my ally. Where is Sam? Where did he spawn? Sam. Hmm. Sam is not here. <laughs> I broke an ally. Okay, I will remove it then. Okay. I will try then to just purchase it at foundation. See you later, Daniel. Have a good holiday. Yeah, I'm close to max caps already because I put those plans for sale, but I will spend those caps back on the wrapping paper, craft more gifts, get more plans, Put them back into the vendor. <laughs> That's the plan. No, this ally normally appears for me. I was placing him before and it was appearing normally. Okay, not this guy. You have scrap. Circuit. Don't have circuitry? How's that possible? I cannot do a circuitry challenge. I wanted to buy from a vendor, not look in the world for one. 
Why they do not have it? What is going on? Who can have it? New cowards on tour vendor? Oh, I could go to Watoga. They are probably more likely than the food vendor. That's a food vendor, maybe balloon vendor, and then we check Watoga. Super Duper Mart. Oh, that. I could just go straight to the Super Duper Mart. Even if vendor then would not have it, I could just grab it from the shop. Nothing contains circuitry. Nothing contains it. Shopping mall. There is no bulk circuitry. I'm just looking for a piece of junk at the vendor that to contain circuitry. Okay, I know what I will do. I will kill Asaltron and I will get my circuitry this way. All that they do not sell anything with circuitry in it. The record scope is the most popular. Okay, Asaltron, give me circuitry. I'm going for a volunteer to give me a circuitry. Uh oh, don't crash. Don't crash now when I'm going for my circuitry. Where is the patrol assault on here? Okay, got it. I should just start from that. But I was thinking I will just get one vendor and it will be done and it was not so that's done did i max out no one armor one star now that's max out oh i didn't check if this vendor have and uh, enclave mods as i'm already here no nothing okay so i'm done for today now it was a good session a lot of gifts workshops are set up if someone is on my server still and ready for taking if you want to continue farming them they're ready to go Yeah, I know a lot of places that do have circuitry. The point is, I was expecting a vendor to be the fastest method. I could go and grab a telephone from West Tech or somewhere else or kill a Sartron straight away. But yeah, I decided to go to a vendor attempting to purchase a piece of junk that contains circuitry and that was a fail. So I fail sometimes. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Fight and seek on the map. Yeah, that's a good idea too. So thank you a lot, everyone, for joining me in here on this live stream. Thank you a lot.
for all the generous donation that I received from you today. I appreciate every single one of you who's helping me stay as a gamer, full-time gamer, for almost a year now. So I truly appreciate that. It would not be possible without you. So thank you. Thank you. And I wish you all the greatest holiday you can have. And we'll see each other soon. Maybe even Monday I will see. I will see if I will be able to live stream something on Monday. Tomorrow not, as tomorrow I'm picking up my little one and I'm spending time with her. So there will be no live stream tomorrow for sure. But Monday, maybe. And that being said, thank you a lot everyone. Have a good holiday one more time and see you in the next one. Turtle out. Bye.